Cleaning your email list is a must if you want to maintain a high deliverability. It can also save you hundreds or even thousands of dollars on your Klaviyo bill. That's why in this video I'll show you exactly how to clean your list on autopilot, which segments to use and how to set up a sunset unengaged flow. Now if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Wysotsky and I've generated over 7 figures in sales from multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. Okay, so we always start the whole process of cleaning your list with creating segments. You need three different segments, marked as spam, bounced and unengaged. And then you'll need suppression list, but I'll show you that later. Now let's create the first three segments. So we just go to audience, listen segments, create listener segment, and we'll start with creating marked as spam. So usually when people mark you as spam, you know, they shouldn't be getting emails from you anyway because they already unmarked you as spam, so technically it's impossible, but it still happens. Uh, I still see a bunch of brands, you know, mark people who mark them as spam are getting like free emails per day from them, uh, which just destroys your deliverability because you will just then just keep going to spam every single time and we want to avoid it. A very simple definition. Now we want to create other segment which is bounced. So people who bounced, uh, you want to remove them as well. We don't need those people. So people who are not suppressed for email. And then what someone has done, bounced email is at least four times overall time. And then also people who have not opened any email in the last 60 days. Uh, zero times in the last 60 days, exactly. So the definition is also quite simple. I just create another segment. And then the last but not least, actually the most important one, uh, which is unengaged. So we just proceed again create segment unengaged uh, and this division is quite more complex but it's still I just follow this tutorial because it's very simple so people who opened email zero times in the last 90 days but then we have to remember about the iOS 15 update so we want to add one more filter and again this is my demo account so there are no properties on profiles whatsoever but normally you would have Apple privacy open and then uh, like there are two properties, so it can be either true or false. So right there, you want to make sure it's set to false, uh, then end. Just make sure you have always uh, end, at least for this segment, you're using end, not or, because you have to use end uh, to make sure that they're really unengaged uh, from your email list, with your email list. So yeah, click the email zero times. Again, the same uh, time frame, 90 days. Then people who received at least 10 emails because this is the amount of emails that someone you know if they receive 10 emails and didn't open a single one in the last 90 days they're unengaged for sure but now we also want to add people who are not active on your website or didn't buy so we're not only removing people who are you know unengaged with your email but also people who are unengaged with your store so then uh, also placed orders zero times in the last 45 days so we are taking like 50% of the uh, email engagement time frame, it's still fine. Um, you know, if someone hasn't opened or clicked your email in the last three months and they haven't even been on your website in a month and a half, it really means they're unengaged because you sent them 10 emails. So you tried to get them on the website, but they didn't still do it. Like they, even, they didn't even see the email, let alone clicking that. So yeah, this is how the segment looks like. If something was confusing, you can just stop the video uh, or watch it again and you know, create the segment. Make sure it's like that. I'll just create it and I'll show you the definition from the uh, from the Klaviyo level because it looks way better or from the segments level, sorry. Yeah, so the definition looks like that. I'll just glue it this way so we can see uh, all at once. So if you need, uh, you are confused with some definition or didn't know how to do it, you can just pause it and create the segments. Okay, so now that we have segments, what we need to do is create sunset unengaged flow. So th this flow is only gonna be for unengaged segment and for bounced and marked as spam, you always exclude those people from campaigns and you can manually suppress them every 30 days. I'll show you how to suppress profiles in a second, but now let's just create sunset engaged flow. So we will just proceed with creating normal flow, flows, create flow, uh, just type in sunset and it should pop up. Yeah, sunset and engaged subscribers, exactly. So we press this one and then uh, the trigger is actually when someone joins the segment. So as you can see, it was already pre-selected, unengaged, but if you name it differently, just make sure that you choose the proper segment. Uh, yeah, I usually call it just sunset unengaged uh, and then create flow. Uh, and now I want to talk a little bit about the structure itself. So the pre-made, you know, flow by Klaviyo has two emails. 
I would didn't, I would never recommend sending more than one just because you're sending emails to people who are not opening them anyway. So what will happen is that you will have very, very low open rate. Usually it's even possible to see below 20 or 10% because again, those people are not opening your emails. So it's quite normal that they won't open this one as well. This is just like a last shot to you know let them know, okay, is it actually required? You either click this and open uh, or you're removed from the list. Now, I always delete the time delay because if someone joins, uh, like they'll just, you know, they weren't active by after like 90 days anyway, so why would I wait one more day? I just delete it. Uh, then the filters by Clev are really fine. So again, one email, completely enough. And then within the actual email inside, uh, you can say like, hey, this is your last chance. From time to time, we move unactive people from our list. So if you no longer, no, no longer want to receive those, email, those emails, it's fine, you can unsubscribe there. Uh, it's always better to unsubscribe. Uh, and then if you want to keep receiving them, click here and you'll stay active on our list. And this is exactly how you do it. If you want, you can give them an incentive. So like, you know, uh, goodbye 10 a discount code or whatever. But then one more thing, I want to turn off smart sending because if those people received an email from like a campaign, uh, you know, three hours ago, you still want to send them this one because they need to go through this whole flow so they are marked as unengaged. If you have smart sending turned on, then what will happen is that they, if they received the campaign from you three hours ago and then they didn't receive this email because smart sending was turned on, turn, yeah, turned on exactly, you, they won't have the chance to go through the flow so they will still technically be in the unengaged segment and not in the uh, in the suppressed segment, which is what matters. Then UTM tracking always turned it on as well. Uh, yeah, and the time delay after sending the email is actually very important. Five days is completely fine. Uh, I usually go with five up to seven in some cases, but the thing is that how the flow works. So someone joins unengaged segment, they receive the email saying, hey, if you want to stay on the list, click here. And if they don't open or click or like, if they, yeah, if they don't open or click the email within five days, they are being marked as unengaged. So this small blog uh, is showing that we are creating a new property which is unengaged and people who didn't take any action with the email they are being marked as true so then i will show you why you need it and why is it so important but overall uh, you're good to go if you have structure like that you will just update action statuses and make it live but make sure that you also turn this to live because if it's manual then you would need to manually uh you know submit the properties and we don't want to do it it has to be done on autopilot to save you time so you just set it to live and that's it so this is for Sunset and Engage Flow. Now I will show you why you need this custom property and how it's gonna help you with cleaning your list uh, very, very easily. So we go to audience, listen segment, and you create a segment once again. This is going to be the last one for this video, I promise. Uh, so this segment is gonna be a suppression list. So people who, that we want to suppress. Uh, so properties of someone, and then again, uh, I created a custom property for my own profile. And as you can see, unengaged is true. And you create this segment and this whole list is people who are unengaged uh, as you can see like this is my profile because i added it manually i'll just show you how it looks like uh, inside the actual um, actual profile so yeah here's the custom property unengaged true exactly what we want so then what you would do you would ex you would export this segment and you go to profiles so you would uh, export every single segment like bounce, mark the spam uh, and suppression list. Don't export unengaged people, export suppression list. Then you go to view suppressed profiles and you click upload file and you upload the CSV file of those three segments which are bounced, marked as spam and suppression list. And now all those people are suppressed. They are not on your list. Your list is clean. You don't have profiles that are inactive. You are saving, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars on your clay bill, and your deliver deliverability is way, way better. So that's the whole process. It's very simple, straightforward. If you struggle with something, you can let me know. Let me know down in the comments down below. But you can also watch this video once again or pause any time you need it. Uh, I'll just show you these segments once again, so you can pause the video now that we have all the segments ready to go. So yeah, those four segments, uh, Sunset and Engaged Flow and then Suppressing Manually Profiles. That's it. Make sure you do it every 30 days and you should be good to go. That's exactly how you clean your list. Now, if you need someone to handle your email marketing and make an extra 30 to 50% more revenue, book a call with me using the link in the video description down below. And that's it for today. Make sure you check out my other videos like Clavia Case Studies and Clavia Email Marketing Flow. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye!